Catch the Wind, All About Kites by Gail Gibbons. Katie and Sam dash up the steps to Ike's Kite Shop. They have finally saved enough money to buy their own kites for today's kite festival. Look at all the kites, says Katie. We'll never be able to decide which ones to buy. Ike's Kite Shop is filled from floor to ceiling with square kites, round kites, hand-painted kites, all kinds of kites in hundreds of shapes and sizes. As Katie and Sam look around the shop, Ike tells them about kites and kite flying. Any object flown in the air at the end of a line is called a kite, named after the graceful soaring kite bird. Historians believe that the Chinese flew the very first kites more than 3,000 years ago. At first they made them by stretching silk over bamboo frames. Later they covered the frames with paper and decorated the kites with wonderful colors and designs. The Japanese, the Koreans, and the Egyptians were other early kite flyers. While kites have always been flown for fun, they have also been used for military signaling, in religious festivals, and for science experiments. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin flew a kite during a thunderstorm to prove that there was electricity in storm clouds. The electricity in the stormy atmosphere struck the line of the kite and traveled down to a brass key tied onto it. It caused a spark and proved to Benjamin Franklin that his theory was correct. This was a dangerous experiment because if Benjamin Franklin had gotten wet, the electricity could have hurt him. That's a funny looking kite, Sam says, looking at one above his head. It's a box kite, Ike explains. Lawrence Hargrave invented that model in 1893. Many years ago, two brothers named Wilbur and Orville Wright experimented with huge box kites that were strong enough to lift people up into the air. It was experiments like these that enabled the Wright brothers to build and fly the first airplane at Kitty Hawk in 1903. Box kites have even been used to predict the weather. From 1898 to 1933, the National Weather Service maintained kite stations, which flew box kites equipped with thermometers and other weather measuring devices. Sam and Katie sort through stacks of kites. Sam finds one that looks like a fish and another that looks like a huge star. Katie holds up one with a clown face painted on it. I didn't know there were so many different kinds of kites, Sam says. Ike explains that most kites follow one of five basic designs. Flat kites need tails to direct them and keep them pointed toward the sky. Bowed kites don't need tails. Their surfaces are curved to create an angle to the wind. This diamond-shaped design was invented by William Eddy, which is why bowed kites are also called Eddy kites. Box kites are three-dimensional. When wings are added to a box kite, the result is called a compound kite. Delta kites are triangular and can be flown when there isn't much wind. Flexible kites are designed to form different shapes when the wind fills them. They look beautiful when they fly high in the sky. Ike shows Katie and Sam around his workshop where he builds many of these kites. Kites can be made from different materials, including paper, cloth, plastic, nylon, and mylar. Ike's workshop is filled with thin strips of wood, plastic, and fiberglass rods, pots of glue, paint, and paintbrushes, and tools. Katie holds up a handmade bowed kite with a cat face on it. This is the one I want, she says. I want this one, Sam says choosing a Delta kite. They spill their money onto the counter and count up what they owe. Ike ties string to their kites and hands them winders. My store is sponsoring the kite festival today, Ike tells them. I'll be flying a stunt kite. See you there. Sam and Katie head for the open meadow where the festival is being held. A wide open area is the best place to fly a kite. Katie is the first one to see the specks of color high up in the sky.
Those must be the kites, she shouts. The closer they get, the bigger the kites look. Kites are soaring and gliding everywhere. The clear skies and winds from 8 to 20 miles an hour make this a perfect day for kite flying. The kites race across the sky and the crowd looks up to watch them. Katie helps Sam launch his kite. As soon as Sam's kite takes off, she launches her own. Up, up, up they go. Soon they are high up in the sky with all the other kites. Sam and Katie let their lines out further and further. Catch the wind, Ike shouts to Katie and Sam as he watches their kites join the dance in the sky.